Let's take a closer look at moderation in chat, its types, drawbacks, how it works, and what it takes to build a moderated chat application that can foster healthy user engagement. Chat apps enable users to message and connect with each other through computer and mobile devices. The messages are known as user-generated content, or UGC, and they can come in different types of forms, including text, images, video, and audio. Chat moderation is the act of monitoring and regulating these user inputs and messages for inappropriate or offensive content. Why is chat moderation so important? Well, chat apps are great for building communities. However, a community is only as strong as its members. The sole purpose of chat apps is to give users a space where they feel comfortable to engage and interact. If people won't be able to engage because they don't feel welcome in a space, they won't interact and they won't feel comfortable doing so either. Whether it's a minor or an off-topic message, or even if it's hate speech or an unmoderated message, they can deliver the death blow to a community and in turn a chat application. Chat moderation is therefore at the forefront of creating chat spaces that are safe and healthy, and it's a great environment for anyone to interact in. Just like there are many types of communication, there are also many types of chat moderation. Let's take a look at a few. The first is image moderation. Images can be a great way to capture user attention. They can tell a story, share information, or even convey a joke. Much more than just a decoration, images have the power to make or break your chat application's user experience. Therefore, images need to closely be moderated, just like other forms of communication within an application. Image moderation allows you to control the types of images that are being shared through your chat application. It ensures a clean, friendly environment is maintained for all users at all times. Chat image moderation determines if an image contains unpermitted content, such as illicit or suggested nudity, violence, or disturbing content. Messages that are deemed unsuitable can be flagged, and they can be dealt with according to your image moderation policies. Another type of moderation is text moderation. It's very likely that text content will account the bulk of user-generated content in your chat app. Therefore, text moderation will have to be incredibly important. Text moderation is a great way to manage your user-generated content and keep your chat application on topic and user-friendly. You'll want to carefully monitor the subject, language, sentiment of each message to prevent illicit text from being contained and clogging up your chat app. This sounds like a lot of work, especially if you have a large active community of users. However, modern chat apps and extensions can lighten the load, and we'll get into a little bit more of that down the track. Voice moderation is another type that's actually kind of difficult to manage. Voice chat has always and probably will always be a very popular form of communication. Why? Because people can change a lot of things, such as their tone, pitch, volume, rhythm, tempo. They can customize their meaning beyond just the words that they're using. Voice chat allows for unparalleled levels of connection, making it both popular and effective. Unfortunately, the same qualities that make a voice chat great for connection also make it very difficult to moderate. In recent years, communication apps have introduced voice features that allow users to keep more engaged. However, saying all that, moderating voice in chat is really hard. Moderating voice chat comes with multiple challenges that are often high cost. They are frequently inaccurate and difficult to keep up with, especially with privacy concerns as well. If you plan to incorporate voice into your chat application, this is one challenge you'll face. There are some great ways to mitigate this situation, however. There are automatic moderated filters and AI-driven chat moderation features that you can implement. This way, your team can be focused more on the efforts rather than the voice moderation. There are some drawbacks to general chat moderation. Now that we've covered some of the benefits of using chat moderation, let's take a look at some of the drawbacks that are considered. The cost of moderation is one such drawback. Moderating user-generated content comes with your chat app not always being very cheap, and in terms of money and time, you're going to have to invest more of that. Chat moderation costs include things like paying for the moderation team, paying for the moderation tools, and spending the time to create and incorporate policies, guidelines, and much more. To set yourself up for success, the factors that you should consider in terms of the cost of moderating chat apps are things you should consider at the very start. 
This way you can ensure there's a clean, friendly environment from day one. User restrictions is another drawback. The downside of chat moderation affects your users in different ways. Depending on the type of chat moderation methods and implementations you have, your users will have more restrictions placed on them. For example, if you go with manual, human-led chat moderation, users may experience delays before their issues are resolved. And in many cases, the experience of inconsistency can be another issue that they have. If you go with AI-generated chat application modera uh, moderation, users may have their messages flagged inaccurately. This happens because the automatic tools can't always comprehend the nuances and context of many of the human communication. For this same reason, some of the inappropriate content may be missed by the chat moderating flagging system. Overall, though, these restrictions negatively impact user experience. However, you'll find that the majority of users will normally be happy to pay for such restrictions, believing it's a small price to pay for friendly, on-topic chat experiences. Now, let's take a look at how we would go about building chat moderation features from scratch. Building a chat app moderation feature system from scratch is no easy feat. Once your team has identified the needs for a chat moderation system, you'll need to begin researching the best ways to develop that chat moderation. And that requires research that might feel overwhelming, especially with all the information. There are boundless code examples, but it can be nearly impossible to determine given the approach what will meet your needs. And without a great deal of time, it can be a costly and error prone endeavor. Another decision you'll need to make is whether to build or buy a chat functionality into your app. Many of the right expertise that you might be confident in approaching or developing can be also costly and unpredictable. On top of that, it can be hard to find a balance between a unique and customizable chat application that also has moderation features and these provide an intuitive experience while also being reliable. Comma Chat has a number of moderation features. If the cost and risks of building something from scratch don't appeal to you, take a look at some of the chat moderation extensions we have. In-flight message moderation is one tool that allows teams to manually monitor and regulate user-generated content on an application. After setting up the desired criteria, a team can see all the message matching that criteria in an intuitive dashboard. Then they can approve or reject messages as well as kick or ban users right from inside the dashboard. In-flight message moderation makes it easy for your team to ensure that every message sent through your chat application meets your content standards. Sentiment analysis is another useful feature. As I mentioned earlier, human communication is layered with custom dictation behind the meaning of words. Studies have shown generally that sentiment of a comment, aka its positive or negative meaning, is an effective way to measure toxicity within keyword analysis just alone. Comma Chat's sentiment analysis extension allows you to understand the tone and sentiment of a message easily. User-generated messages can be classified into four main categories, positive, neutral, negative, and mixed. Furthermore, Comet Chat specifically creates a confidence meter of a scale of 0 to 100. Your chat moderation team can then use this information to either show warnings to a message or drop it entirely. Data masking can also help protect users' sensitive data that is critical. And sometimes that means protecting them from themselves. Data masking is a technique used to obscure sensitive data in some way to render it safe. ComaChat's data masking extension allows you to hide phone numbers, email addresses, and other sensitive types of information inside of messages. You can configure your application to drop any types of messages with sensitive information automatically. Default masks appear for emails, social security numbers, and US phone numbers, and these are things that are pre-built. You can also customize masks with regex, and these masks can work to form sensitive information barriers. Comma Chat's profanity filter extension helps you mask and hide profane messages inside of communication. Your moderation team can then create a custom blacklist of words you want to block. In addition, Comma Chat also has an emoji filter effortlessly allowing you to maintain clean, harassment-free environments. 
Image moderation is another feature. As we discussed earlier, images are a powerful way to convey messages and they can be closely moderated just like any type of communication within your chat application. Comma Chat's image moderation filters enable your chat moderation team to control the types of images being shared on your platform. The image moderation extension analyzes every image and checks whether it's safe for your audience and then classifies that image into four categories. These are explicit nudity, suggested nudity, violence, and disturbing visual content. Comma Chat then also gives you a confidence ranking of zero to 100 on each category. Your chat moderation team can then use this information to either create a warning or drop that image altogether as well. Virus and malware scanning is another feature worth considering. You don't want your chat application to be ground zero to spread malicious content. Comet Chat's virus and malware scanner uses third-party API services to scan media and messages. Cross-site scripting, or XSS, is a security vulnerability where an attacker can bypass client-side security mechanisms by injecting malicious script straight into messages. Comma Chat's XSS filter helps you sanitize messages, thus reducing the risk associated with XSS attacks. Once you've added this filter extension in, you'll be able to block messages with XSS scripts. This filter is applicable only for the web SDK. An XSS attack is often possible on the web or mobile platforms, but other forms don't often need sanitized messages. So whether you're starting to build a chat application or you're simply looking at ways to implement chat moderation features into an existing application, Comma Chat is here to help. If you want to learn more, sign up to our website, view our dashboard, try some of our chat moderation features. If you still have questions, jump into the comments below and ask them, or just check the link in the description where you can find out more about chat moderation as part of this video.